Good morning. This is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast, where CEOs, CMOs, and communications experts share their real advice. It's five questions under nine minutes because we get to it real fast. So let's get to it. I am so excited to have today's guest on. In a few sentences, could you please tell us who you are and what you do, Kelly? Sure. So thanks so much for having me, Anna. My name is Kelly Nagel, and I like to start with I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, and oh, I also am the president and general manager of the Jabra North American business. So if you don't know who Jabra is, we are a leader in sound and video, and we help connect people through the power of sound, whether it's through professional audio endpoints like the headset I'm wearing today, or your consumer grade headsets like our Elite 75T or 85T that you might use on the true wireless side, or truckers that we help um, communicate as they're driving off across the roads of the US with our Blue Parrot line. And finally, our Panacast video, which I'm speaking to you today on our camera with 180 degrees. So we really do connect you and help keep you connected during these times that we're in right now where we're working from home, we're working remote in a different setting than we've been for a while. Mm -hmm. And I love uh, most of your products, well, the products that I have tested out at least. And uh, you guys do such great work. And you know, you mentioned the word "connected," uh, which is a lot about what this uh, podcast tries to communicate. We discuss authentic connections, right? So, I hear from other leaders that creating authentic connections with customers can be challenging when it's very noisy out there. And uh, you mentioned that obviously connectivity is so important today more than ever. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Yeah, it's we hear so many people that are struggling in these hybrid times where people are learning remote or children are learning remote, we're working remote. You've got maybe a family of five all working and learning in a house together. And you think about how you can keep them connected and concentrated. And, you know, I think, you know, giving, covering both years, being able to be immersed in your conversation and being able to concentrate, especially for those students that are learning from home or in a hybrid situation, it's really important. And you can, you're not distracted by the dog or the Amazon truck that's coming to your, the, to your door to deliver, um, or, you know, your spouse or uh, something else is happening in your house and, um, and everyone's under one roof in different, different ways. But, you know, it's, it's having that connection and being able to have that full concentration to do your work because we're all sitting and looking at our, looking at ourselves and um, our colleagues and our customers on video. And it's really, how do you connect with them and make sure you're having a clear conversation that they can hear what you're saying, you can hear what they're saying. And so much, so often people don't think about how is my sound on the other side? I might be able to hear you, but you might not hear my voice or the microphone might, might pick up external noises and it might be very distracting for that other person. So I always say, you should always ask someone, how do I sound? Am I coming in clear? Um, and having the right device will really help with that experience and that connection. That's great advice. I remember the early on uh, onset of the pandemic, one of my boys was on a Zoom call and he had to present. And he's eight, so presenting to a class <laughs> is stressful enough, mm -hmm. uh, especially doing it on Zoom. And then halfway through, I remember the teacher said, I can't really hear you. Can you check your microphone? And the poor kid just, uh -uh. Had, you know, the, the emotional- just Defeat, defeated, that. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Completely defeated. He's like, I was so ready. And then it failed me. And then my, I had to restart my computer. So uh, that's a really great point that you make uh, with regards to connecting with your employees, teams, vendors, mm -hmm. partners, et cetera, and having that clear line of communication is so great. Yeah. Do you have any other real advice for other leaders? Is there anything else that you believe is really important? Yeah, I think during the pandemic, it's it's been really important to, to be connected with our employees. And for sure, um, we would have weekly, or, you know, weekly calls on a Friday and it would be, we try to make it fun, whether it's like crazy hat, bring your pet to the call, bring your, your child, your, you know, we did a virtual celebration for the graduates who weren't able to go through um, an actual ceremony, mm -hmm. college and high school. We celebrated our um, brides and, and grooms to be and new babies. And I think it's really allowing people to bring in their family life and, and see them up close and, and know that you care about them. We actually helped institute a tutoring program for our associates because kids are struggling right now, especially with math and some common core subjects. So we've actually brought in some outside tutoring services um, to help it with those who, who need it. And we had 75 children that actually were a part of the program. And of course we gave them all a headset. So they had a stereo headset so they could, they could be concentrating. Um, but I think we, you know, I think it's really helping people be flexible during this time and allowing your employees the space and the grace to do their job. And we're not asking them to be at their desk for 
eight or 10 hours a day, it just can't happen. So I'm, you know, it was saying, okay, do the work when you can, if you need to log in at 6am and, and work for a couple hours and then help your five-year-old go through their zoom class. Cause I mean, I can't imagine my, my son's 20. I can't imagine, you know, your young kids and having them just do it by themselves because usually they're better in technology than we are, at least, at least than I am. But I think, you know, your, your kids will need your guidance and you have to be there for them and really helping to balance the family and the work life now is more important than ever. Absolutely. That's fantastic advice. Thank you. Well, before we get to our final question, are there any other successful executives such as yourself that you would care to acknowledge uh, when you on the podcast? Yeah, I've, I've got a great network of people that help me along the way. And I'm sure we all do. It takes, you know, I've got lots of great people that I take advice from Jeff Yelton at Ingram Micro. We have touch base calls. What's happening there? Um, Christine Bongard, who's the, the president of the WIT Network, if you're not familiar, the Women in Technology, she's been a great ally. Uh, Andrea Connor Stevenson, who was the former president of Athena Network that really talks about amplification and how we can really amplify the gender multiplier. Um, so those are some of my core people that I go to for advice and, and look for um, it, just a, a, a sounding board during these times because we can't be face to face. But, you know, I think it's really important to grab coffee or wine with a, with a, with a colleague or someone from outside because we can get very internally focused these days that we're in our houses and not leaving and getting that external perspective is really important. Absolutely. I love that. Well, our last question is more of a fun one. You've got uh, an incredible career and you get to work for a remarkable company, but can you tell us how you got started? What was your first job? My first job, I actually went to school for hotel restaurant management. So I really wanted to be the general manager of, I went to this great, uh, I went to Orlando for the first time on a flight when I was nine and I really was ecstatic about the Hyatt Grand Regency Cyprus. And I thought, I want to run a hotel as grand as this. So I went and worked in hotels. It was not glamorous. I worked 80 hours a week. I worked weekends and holidays and 4 a.m. And I ran uh, sales and, and catering, which was the worst job. <laughs> so when an opportunity came up to join Ingram Micro and work in technology and work Monday through Friday and to be able to touch amazing technology, I said, yes, please. And that was my, my I would call that, that was was my first job in the technology after my four and a half years in hotel restaurants. Wow, quite the pivot, um, yes. but obviously the right one. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Well, how can people um, get a hold of you, Kelly, learn more about the company and what you're doing? Yeah, if you um, find me on LinkedIn um, or you go to jobra.com, you can find out all about us and our amazing products. And if you need help, um, please reach out to us and we'll be happy to, to have a joint call and figure out how we can help you. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us and thanks everyone for tuning in. This is Anna Crow. For more insights, visit us at crowpr.com. Thanks so much. Make it a great day. Thank you.